That's fine. That's fine. I can go. Andrew, you will start. Name I'll I'll start. Start. I think this Favorite. is a lie. I needed to see it live. I have full faith in you, Logan. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, overruled. Yeah. All right. All right. So am I starting? Are we beginning? Yeah. Yes, that was the whole point of spinning the wheel. Yes, you're All right, start. sick. So we're gonna start off with um arguably one of the most diverse important Pokemon there's ever been. The Indian the Indian elephant. What okay, what I don't remember him. What is his name? That's Kaparaja. Kapa. The ground type. The gra I think he's pure ground type. Um, I thought he, wasn't he steel? He looks like he'd be steel. Like his oh no, he is steel. You're right. You're right. I think Q font. No, never mind. They're both steel. I'm I'm a dummy. Nope. Yep. They, he is steel. If it makes if if, it, if it's not clear, I didn't really pay attention a whole lot during Jet Eight. It was <laughs> kind of a dud. But but some of the designs I did think were pretty good, and so Copperage is definitely one of them. Like obviously. You know, based off of, uh, you know, Raja is, if you don't know, is Indian for chief. So, oh. yeah. Copper. So there you go. So I am, I am part Indian. And so I felt, I felt a, a kinship with Copper Raja here. So I, I had to choose him. Okay. He is. So he's like a, I, I don't, I don't, he's like a cube. Like he's very angular. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's, he's cubist. He's cubist. He's a cubist for sure. <laughs> But I gotta he's, be he's honest, made out of metal. I, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. I've been looking through this list. Um, what's the name of it? It's Papa the Raja. I put a, I put a picture in the chat. I put a picture in the chat. Yeah, okay. he's the I'm abomination like of an elephant. Yes, that abomination. Excuse me, Pokemon. that's racist. That's all I have that's to say. Disgusting design for a Pokemon. <laughs> Horrible clashing colors. I, you're you're both I, wrong. He has, he has a fist on the end of his nose. He has oh, a fist. fist. I don't know, but it always looks Why like a fist fighting? every time I, I see it. It's like an excavator. I thought yeah, he was like a, yeah. yeah, like a machine. Oh yeah, that could be that could be true. I don't know. Every time I look at it, I see a fist. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and so he can learn like he can learn like brick break and stuff. And I always thought like he's punching him with his trunk. <laughs> oh wait, really? Can he learn brick break? And he can do that. I, I don't know what his animation is, but I'm pretty sure he can learn Brick, brick Break. Is he a water I mean, type? Yeah, I Why do I feel like I've never seen no, this pose? No, he's Steel type. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, he learns, I, like, I don't like power. I will say I don't really like the coloring on him, too. Yes, I, I like the concept, because the whole Indian I like painting the orange. thing, I understand. Yeah. But yeah. colors, no. All right, well, that's all right. And we're going to go with... I feel like this one's going to be really common. I feel like a lot of people liked, like this one. He's definitely, he definitely saw him a lot in, um, emotional and a lot of the advertisements and stuff. Okay. And that's and that's the 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 great turtle. Okay, I do I do like the Dreadnaw. Turtle. I thought Dreadnaw was really cool as soon as I saw him. Like he he, he reminded me of like, almost like a prehistoric Blastoise in a way. Yeah. And so I, I just thought he was really cool. I definitely agree. He's a cool. I do designer. remember. Yeah, uh, he had. Uh, he also has like a unique biting move, right? It's called like Lockjaw or something. Lockjaw. Yes. Lock yes. Or jaw. Yeah, I think Lockjaw is right. Yeah. The only. The, I. <laughs> I don't. I don't have him on my list. Um. Actually, never mind. I do. He's right there. <laughs> so I also have him on my list. Yeah. I feel um, like he's gonna be really popular. Like he's just a good design. I just thought he was. He was clean, and yeah. he looks. He looks like a Pokemon, and he looks like a good Pokemon. That that is the that's the best thing you could say is he looks like a Pokemon. I mean, look, there's some Pokemon in Gen Eight that are just yeah, what is I'm this? Like, I'm like, wow, what is? Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember. Yeah. It, I do like some of them. Him. Don't even look like Pokemon. Really? I mean, some of them really don't. And so when you get one that does, it's it's he's they're worth celebrating. I remember I, 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 why I didn't think that I had him on my list is because when I looked at him, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember he was cool. I used him on, on my first playthrough. But I remembered that he was, like, terrible. Yeah, oh, it was like, terrible. Oh, he was super was bad. Awful. So I thought maybe that kept him from being on my list. But then I looked over and I was like, oh, wait, no, he is. So I guess yeah. the, there just wasn't many other options from Gen yeah. 8. Yeah, I mean, Gen 8, it's, you know, it's... I feel like every gen comes out and it's easier than the last, but for me, for me, Gen Eight felt—I don't know. Well, I feel like Gen Seven was kind of worse about it, but 
Gen 8 was just really easy. And so it just didn't matter. I mean, you just use whatever Pokemon you wanted. Yeah, like, it never... Oh, yeah. I, mean, like, I didn't, you, you I didn't say that about every game, but, like, at least some of the older ones. Like, if you had weak Pokemon, like, you at least had to put in some effort in order to get past some gems. But Gen 8, I don't know. If you, like, if you blew the other Pokemon over, they'll, they'll, you'll win. Yeah, but I just remember that. Strong like, breeze. I, just, I just throw him out, and I'm like, all right, Dreadnought, go, go and do... Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, yeah. He died so fast. I mean, he's bad typing. He's, yeah. he's rock and water, which is rough with how many grass types there are. Yeah. He's just, you know, but his Gigantamax form, and let me, do you all have a picture of that? Uh, I did. I'll be honest. I was never a fan of Gigantamax in general, um, but Gigantamax uh, Dreadnought was was kind of cool. Um, what is even going on in that picture? What is that uh, thing coming out by his face? I don't know. I thought it was like, he looks like a base or something, like a mountain base, but a walking mountain. I mean, his name is like a play on like Dreadnought, right? So I would assume so. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So he's like a tortoise battleship. And yeah. uh, it makes sense that the head's going to recede, uh, you know, given he's a tortoise. Yeah. That's yeah, like a so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dreadnought, a type of battleship. Yeah. Early 20th century. Yeah. So it, yeah, yeah. it, it makes sense. I mean, he, he doesn't really look like a, a ship, but. Uh, I always see him as like, he looks like a mountain. When he when he's in that form, like he, think of like a like a mountain base. Yeah, well, and I see like, like like a mountain or a base disguised as a mountain. Yes, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Oh yeah, like I guess I could see that. Like maybe the part, like the, the bottom part where his head's poking in, how it's like it could be like flat right there, where you could like land like planes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like they could fly in and out of the base right there. That, yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I like him. Yeah. I guess I'm the lone person that really didn't like him. You didn't like you didn't like that. I don't, I don't know. Right. I don't like the thing on his head. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think partially his water rock type definitely. Like, it hurts. It does it's, hurt. It's water rock is kind of boring. You know, Ian, I, I think that if he didn't have that thing on his head, his regular picture, I'm not talking about the Gigantamax. If he didn't have yeah. that thing on his head, I think he'd look dumb. Yeah, he looks like a tortoise. <laughs> he would look, <laughs> he would look a little too tortoisey. I'd agree. But I'm not saying I don't know. I just I don't know something about him when I saw him. Just didn't I just mean, didn't work for you. I only saw him in the game, right? So, and because I watched my little brother play it, and he had caught one and used it, and I, I just I don't know. I didn't like it. I think a, a right. theme in this particular gen was like a lot of Pokemon were punky. Right, they all have a lot of them have yeah. like mohawks or some kind of like sweep, you know. And uh, I, I think it might be like a monster like rock culture or something like that, since a lot of that started punk, in the UK. Yeah, yeah punk I culture. think, yeah, and I think that's what this is referencing, oh, similar sure. to a certain other Pokemon we'll talk about later. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure we'll get to them, yeah, but, but um, um, it makes sense to me, yeah. I thought, I thought he fit, he, he's a good. I feel like him and and this next one I'm about to drop are kind of I would say going to be the two most popular Pokemon from Gen Eight. Okay. Um, everyone's going to have at least seen one or caught one and probably used one. Um, and that's and that's obviously uh, Gen Eight's bird, Corviknight. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, just he's on, he's on my list as well. He's, yeah, he's I mean, on just, my list. Just the most white bread answer is is the bird from the early yeah. beginning, but I think I really do think they nailed Corviknight. <laughs> um, you know, when it comes to when it comes to early gen birds or early uh, or early birds that you can catch that evolve, um, I thought Corviknight they did a really good job with. So, you yeah. know, I mean, it's you know the night aesthetic about you know being UK England based. I thought mm -hmm. they did really well, and I thought it. it, it it was tough for me, actually. I kind of wanted to pick the first part of Corviknight, um, like the like the first one you catch because he's kind of cute. But uh, Corviknight is just Rook, so cool. Rook, oh, Rookadee, I think is what it's Rookadee, called. Rookadee, right? yeah. Rookadee, and then it's um, it's Rook something. Corvusquire. Corvusquire, and then Corviknight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna post another picture of him as well, just to aid in your, you know talking about it because i i 100 agree he was on my list i think yeah. it is actually the best bird design in pokemon period and really that's a strong yeah, opinion it's, it's okay. a strong opinion but 
Um, and I'll, I'll talk about other strong opinions later on in this gen, but uh, I I just loved how like thematically yeah. everything worked. Like everything's there. Like he's got like yeah. the shield plate. He's got like the pauldron. That's what they're called. Pauldrons, palders for the uh, shoulders. Yeah, he's got, like, the the chest plate. But like it, he still looks like a bird. Like it just works. Yeah. Doesn't feel shoe. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and he fit thematically so perfectly that it almost made me think that like someone created this design and they're like we should just make the whole gen based off of this Pokemon. <laughs> like it almost felt like Corviknight came first and then they're like oh let's go with the knight aesthetic. Does he and, have a beard? <laughs> I'm just looking at this picture. I think so. That's a good... I never realized that. But uh, I maybe it is a beard. beard. It doesn't You're look like right. others. Which I, that makes others. me love it even but, more. Like, birds have like plumage that like yeah, yeah, yeah they carry at their front. Yeah. So yeah, and so yeah, it, it is kind of a beard, like a beard sticking out like the bottom of his helmet, quote unquote. Yeah, like more it, I don't it. know if that's a thing or not. In <laughs> Does he have more of it underneath his more? chest plate? Man. Probably. Yeah. It's oh, he's there, definitely yeah. he's a hairy chested dude. I mean, that's 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 alpha male right there. <laughs> I, I think it's cute <laughs> that's because uh, bad night. Yeah, he's like growing like through the iterations. It's like, you know, he's he's like a cute little chick. He's like a he's a rook. You know, he's a little disposable little boy yeah. Corvus Squire, you know, he's a young strapping lad, he's a man now and in Corviknight, he's, he's been through shit yeah, and like that's how, that's how like the, the progression of like becoming a knight is you start out as a rook, you're a little kid, you're helping out, you're yeah. supposed to be like helping out with, uh, with knights and then a squire is like, you're, you're the you're the number one, you're the number one bitch boy, and then, yeah, and right? then when you hit, but then, when you become a you knight, knight, you're just a taxi driver Right. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> but like, I, don't know. I, I feel like now. they nailed. I feel like they nailed Corviknight. I mean, gonna be a very popular opinion, but yeah, he's cool. Looking Corviknight good. is just super dope. Yeah. All right. So, following the most popular opinion, I I feel like I'm gonna follow that up with a very unpopular opinion. Um, and the reason, almost just meme levels. I I love this Pokemon. Because as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I have to have one. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, I had to. Ice Q, the penguin and... with a blockhead, was just just meme material as soon as I saw him. I'm like, I love him already. He's terrible. His stats are bad. His gimmicky ability is weird. Um, But he's awesome. I, I love him. He's just a cute little guy. He's also got a normal head that, like, you can <laughs> tell that they, they drew it the first time with the blockhead and they're like well i guess we can't have that be his main design let's go ahead and give him just this weird round football head <laughs> so maybe maybe it was the other way around maybe they designed that first and they're like oh god what can we do to fix this i don't know <laughs> give him a block. Just, put a, just put a paper bag over his head uh, it wouldn't really work a, an ice cube then with a face so fuck it i don't know <laughs> cube with a face. yeah oh god it's still terrible <laughs> So I, I, Ice Q is is I, I don't know, man. I, I you climb up the mountain and you see one. I like it. And you're like, it, I don't know. It, it it feels like one of the Pokemon that is just like it's only there for thematic purposes. But I I don't know why. I just I chose. I immediately picked him up. Like I found room in the squad. I, I like it, but second one's fucking stupid. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. And so the block is like kind of silly and funny. But then when he has no block on his head, you're like, what the fuck is this? This is terrible. And he has like the alpha alpha hair like growing out of the top of his head. It kind of makes him look like a pre-evolved Pokemon. Like he has just like that one hair. And then like, yeah, is that like a thing that like when you're young you, or like in to accentuate that someone is young in like an animated thing or you, know, you just give him like one little hair that's sticking out of their head, you know, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, growing there. But that's what it looks like. But it's like this is he doesn't have a pre-evolution, does he? No, I mean he's he is a single, he's a single Pokemon. That's it. What if he started off as just the block of ice, and then it grew a penguin body yeah. out of the ice? <laughs> <That's how> so, <laughs> <laughs> so the way his stats work, and so I feel like because it's it's just like how he works, so it's very much important to bring this up. So he has the ability Ice Face, and so when he has the block of ice, so he starts out I think every battle with the block of ice. And then when he gets hit, it breaks the ice, and then he goes to the to the no ice face, which is spelled one word, so it's noise face, <laughs> <laughs> which is so dumb. Um, 
But so he has really good defense in the base, the ice phase. So he's 110 base defense and 90 base special defense, which for, I mean, not a competitive Pokemon or not like supposed to be a powerful Pokemon. That's pretty good. Um, but, but then he's ice type, so it doesn't matter. But then he's ice type, which hurts. That always hurts. But once you break his ice, his speed actually gets actually good, like 130. Okay. So, you know, he hits pretty hard and you're like, oh, yeah, give him ice beam. That'd be sick. No, his special attack is 65. Oh, it's like, what? Why? So his attack is 80, which is whatever. I don't know. So he kind of sucks. And so, but I, I don't know why. It just, I saw the block of ice and I just decided like this whole game is already meme material with how easy it is. I'm just going to get this obviously throw away thematic Pokemon that was meant to just accentuate the area you're in. And he's just going to be a part of my team now. So that's how I ended up. That's how I ended up with a with an ice cube on the team. Okay. All righty. Uh, I, 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 I do want to say that I like how we went from one of the best designed Pokemon in years to one of the worst designed Pokemon in years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be that's going to be a lot of how I operate because I don't know. Just like the meme material of some of these Pokemon is high. I think it'll be a trend among all of us through all the gens until we get to the older ones and it's just yeah. nostalgia bait oh for sure for sure so that's that's ice q ice q definitely made the team so one that so actually these next two didn't make the team and i kind of regret it like I, when i replay the game i'm probably going to add these um and I, w I think this was the first galarian form uh announced so it is of course top hat wheezing um <laughs> so you had to go with top hat wheezing uh with the mustache and everything uh i felt like this was also really good thematically because like it was supposed to be like the like the industrial revolution and and smog and how that affected like the england and all that and then um they gave him a top hat yes and i really just that's really that's, really, that's smoke. yeah yeah that's just that's the good. beginning and the end of the argument i mean he's it's a wheezing wearing a wearing a top hat. I think if you gave almost any Pokemon a top hat, and I'll probably pick it. So the top hat, it, it did it for me. It was really good. So you're really going to name him. You're going to name him uh, Doug, right? When you? Oh yeah, Dimodome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Dimodome was the one I caught. Dimodome. I caught one, and he was his name was Dimodome, even though I didn't really use him. So you had to go with Doug Dimodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimodome, and his 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 big smoggy mustache so i like the galarian forms i or i just like the idea of the the regional forms obviously that, that was started with alolan and gen 7 but I, I appreciated how they kept that even though they've they've killed off many a, a a gimmick per gen and but they kept the the regional forms and i and i was glad that they did i i thought that was that was good and i thought they did well with with uh, galarian wheezing here Okay. Uh, yeah, I will agree. He's not on my list, but I don't dislike him. I, I like him. I like it. It's fine. You, you sold me completely on him. I left him off my list. He should have been number one. Yeah. I mean, he, he's a factory, and yeah. Yeah, yeah he's I mean, he's perfect. he's got a mustache. He's got a top hat. He's, he's a, a dapper dude who's polluting the air. I mean... Was that the, was the term tycoon? Is that the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like tycoon. Yeah, he's a he's a he's an industrial tycoon. He, he's all about all about economic progress. He's got he's got he's ahead of the fashion. He's got quality facial hair. I mean, you can't you can't say no. You can't say no to Galarian Weezer. Yeah, I, I do. He, I do also like. I'm kind of just noticing like the you know like the skull and crossbones. It almost looks like uh, it could be like a like a bow tie almost. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Suit. I actually do see that. Yeah, and all I just another thing like if if he had like a they wouldn't do this obviously, but if he had like a little cigar, <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, that yeah, is the one thing yeah. that they missed. If they yeah. if they'd given him a cigar, he'd be my new favorite Pokemon of all yeah, time. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing. I gave gave a tiny one to the the little <laughs> the little one too. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and so last but certainly not least, I feel like. Either people will love this choice or not. Um, I appreciated breathing new life into into an older Pokemon. Um, 
uh, one of the classic meme Pokemon uh, of them all. Farfetch'd. And then, you know, they gave him a shield and a sword. And they, they knighted him, you know, he got a, he got recognized by the queen, and now he's Surfetch'd. I'm sad. So, I wanted to be the only one who had Surfetch'd on his list. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I uh, couldn't say no to Surfetch'd. It's, he's amazing. He's awesome. He's awesome. I mean, he's terrible, but he's awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, one thing, the only thing that didn't make him, like, awesome to me, like, they, they dropped his flying type. He's just fighting. So they grounded him. They they clipped they clipped our our hero's wings. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, he's not gonna be able to fly with those weapons. Yeah. Do it? you see him? He's got a sword and shield in his fucking. But Corviknight's made out of steel. It's but he can wings. fly. He's got his wings are free. He he's holding his stuff. He can't fly. Wings are made out of steel. What's your problem? Uh, uh, have you ever seen a uh, fucking uh, what's the steel flying type from Gen two? Skarmory. Uh -huh. Yeah, Scar. How does he fly? I mean, in Pokemon Logic, dude, he got. Free wings, he fly, but he—he's got arms now. Well, it's Charizard something. can't learn fly in Gen One, so I don't know if that's true. There is also another point that uh, Do Dodrio can learn fly. Dodrio can <laughs> also fly; it <laughs> has no wings. Sense, so. so, Pokemon Logic is the only consistent thing about Pokemon Logic is its inconsistency. So, I feel like they could have kept Sur Surfetch a flying type, do another flying fighting type, which is, um, spoiler alert, definitely an excellent typing that I really enjoy. Yes. So I, I felt like that was that was the one miss that they had. Um, I do want one thing that I, I learned recently is uh, is is his name in Japanese. Okay. Um, so if you if someone wants to just read this out loud, uh, yeah, feel free. Uh, you know I'm gonna mm, <laughs> yeah <laughs> uploading data to. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. employers of people involved. Yeah. <laughs> so I learned that that's his Japanese name, and so uh, he honestly just raised raised up a couple points for me with that one too. So, so that that's definitely my six. Um, some of its memes, some of its actual cool Pokemon, but I feel like that's how that's how Gen Eight and a lot of the later gens are. It's just. I, I still enjoy the core of Pokemon and some of the designs I really like and some of them I'm just like, you know what? Cool. Whatever whatever the kids like these days. But yeah, Surfetched is definitely gonna round out round out my top six from Gen 8. Hey sweet, do you have an honorable mention? I don't have an honorable mention for Gen 8. Gen 8 was was a solid six for me. Okay. Alright. Um Alan, have you finished yeah, my your list, list? My list is ready. That's all six, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's then. let's get the ones that were already covered out of the way. Um, but I want to open this up by saying I disagree with Andrew. Um, yeah. And Gen 8 is actually, I think, the first one that had a different Pokemon designer since, you know, Gen 1. Um, and this one was an American guy. Um, and he's, like, entirely new to designing Pokemon. But, or like leading, I think leading in this kind of capacity, like he did this gen, but mm -hmm. I think he, I, I think it was necessary. And I think it was a, the right choice because he really breathed new life into this gen. And I think these are some of the strongest designs since gen three. Um, wow, really? And wow. yes. And I think what happened is as the artists, the original artists continue to draw and create new Pokemon designs, they kind of just like ran out of ideas and like, felt the need to like create new designs through making them more elaborate mm -hmm. and so that was like their idea of enhancing previous gens ideas is just like let's let's add more detail add more like cybernetic shit um and it, it just got to a ridiculous degree while i just like the simplicity of this guy's designs he really just took a step back and said hey this looks cool um, and like this works with the setting and that's another oh. huge thing I I haven't seen a gen where all of the Pokemon went towards like all the designs went towards one common like theme the exception the starters suck we all know it I yeah. know, you know it the designs suck gen they, eight starters came, were really bad. they were just people in costumes it was a problem with previous gens it continued but anyways, let me go ahead and start my list by saying, 
yes, Corviknight's amazing. And yes, Sir Fetched is also amazing. So I'll go cross these two Super on. Superstars. Superstars, both of them. I'm going to save this one for last, okay? I'm going to start with my honorable mention, and it's one that I touched on earlier. It's my man, Toxitricity. Um, why do I like Toxitricity? I mean, like, I have no good reason yeah. other than that, like, he was in my party. Um, of all the human-shaped Pokemon, you know, well, that's, like, kind of a problem, you can view it as that way. I, I kind of like that, like, you know, considering the whole punk movement was, like, a big, big part of this game's, like, themes and story and characters, you know, they needed some Pokemon to, like, drive that home. And I think having this as, like, the, uh, what was the team's name? I don't even fucking remember. Team, team punk, sure. Um, Something, yeah. It wasn't yeah. really much of a team. It was kind of more of a joke because they were just fan fanboys for the female. Yeah, female and, and I liked that like they made this kind of like the mascot of their team or just like the most common one faced because it, mm -hmm. it just worked with their whole theme. Uh, I also think he has a really cool Gigantamax form. I thought Gigant Gigantamax was stupid, but turning him into a, you know, fucking power metal plant was pretty nice um i will say go. that toxicity is just legitimately on my list so okay yeah i, I, oh, I wow. yeah i liked him as well i, I like i liked his uh his model because he's actually got two different forms um yes he's got like the, and it's like mm -hmm. i think it's supposed to be like the like the different currents like are the are the differences between them i'm, I'm not entirely sure but the one has like the like the orange kind of sparks and the other one has the bluish ones but they yes. both, I like in their posing in like the actual game, uh, like their actual model, the way that they pose, because they're kind of like tilted to the side and they kind of just have their head kind of like this one. Actually, the one you posted. Yeah, yeah here, so he's kind of has the blue one is called the low key form. So he's kind of just, you know, jamming out. He's vibing. He's chill. And then vibing. amped is like when he gets, you know, he's more alert and he's oh, like jamming. Different... He's, he's live jamming now. He's all excited. He's he's hyper and and he even like air guitars when he's in the yellow form which is really cool um also you can notice like the, the electricity like goes from the sides to like the middle i mean like it's i don't think it means anything more than just like being a different kind of mohawk hairstyle but yeah. it's it's cool i like i like when character pokemon have dynamic designs just to mention toxel was you know a close consideration i like his design as well yeah oh, um, oh. In uh, any any thoughts? Thoughts? I yeah. I don't know. I'm stuck. I hate this Pokemon so much. It's like <laughs> if you took gosh. Typhlosion and he fucking he lived in a like Nagasaki in 1950 or 1940, right after the bombs went up. I don't know. He's I, I hate him. I, and I didn't even uh, see his Gigantamax, and I hated it even more. Him. Yeah, Craig, can you strike that from the record, please? Yeah. <laughs> edit all this out. Edit, edit all of this out. <laughs> Although I do actually, there's another picture of his Gigantamax form that does have a, a pretty cool thing in it. It, it looks yeah, like whenever all... he, it looks like whenever he attacks. Um, or do you have a picture of it? Um, yeah, it's, it's the only tiny. Picture... But, yeah, yeah, the only yeah, picture I found was it's tiny, but like it looks like he's like slamming a guitar on the ground. Yeah. Because that, that's what it looks like to me. Like yeah, that's what it looks like to me as well. Yeah. And so I was actually, I was trying to yeah. find that. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I think he's pretty cool. Um, he does fall into the like humanoid Pokemon trap that I think a lot of the later ones have. I think and, this is it done right, is my opinion. But yeah, I think and, so, problem. and so that's why he just wasn't going to make my list personally. Because like, I just don't really like a lot of those. But of that, of that group, I agree with you. I think he's a good design. I love his mohawk, which is you know the throwback to the, to the you know the punk rock of of of, of England. So I thought they did really well, and I, I also liked he fit thematically with the, um, Team Yell. By the way, I googled it. Team Yell and their uh, their their whole their whole thing, um, mm -hmm. just being like loud, obnoxious fans, and like that's what that's what he's definitely supposed to be. He's definitely supposed to be like a punk rocker and doing you know banging his head at, at a rock concert and that's just what he's definitely based off of so i thought he did pretty cool toxitricity um i thought was too on the nose of a name though if you know what i mean 
like it is really just toxic and electricity but yeah like, hey it works but it, it does work you know you know what you're getting into which is one thing that i at least appreciate because i don't have all the pokemon memorized in the later gens so i see like a pokemon and i go oh what type is that like what's going to be super effective and what do i have to look out for so when i see the name toxicity boom i know exactly what's coming right <laughs> Yeah, so maybe I did appreciate like, that. Zap Punk would be cool, but like, eh, fuck it. Who cares? His, his uh, Japanese name, I guess, the way it pronounced would be... It's Storinda. Strind Strinder. Do you want to call him that? Storinda. Strinder. Strinda. Uh, Strind uh, one thing I don't want to do is embarrass myself trying to pronounce things in Japanese. So <laughs> I think I'll, I'll stick with the Toxitricity. Um, and it, yeah, I, I, I would say Toxitricity is perfectly reasonable to have. Wow on I the team and in the top six Ian, last thoughts i don't i mean for one i don't know i don't like the punk theme at all because like what punk is like three years in uk history and then it becomes metal and also what does team yell have to even do with metal they're supposed to be hooligans right i didn't know that hooligans were associated a metal with it's, like, it's, it's just punk it's just punk i, I think said yeah they're just metal. supposed to be punky it's and just like yeah metal. they're hooligans yeah, but hooligans like, like hooligans like hooligans like loud music. I think that's the thing that they're going for. Oh, do well, they? It's, it's a mixture of it's a mixture of the hooligans. sport hooligan. Well, I think it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be hitting both things, right? It's not it's not just the soccer hooligan. Okay. It's 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 the hooligan and it's the and it's the it's the punk rockers and the underground rock that 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 dominated the the English Yeah, scene. the underground rock. That's the right word, not necessarily punk. I think this uh, encapsulates both. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, and I and I think that's what Team Yell was supposed to be. It's supposed to be kind of a call to both of those, um, but definitely they they lean on the uh, the the soccer hooligan aesthetic a lot. And it makes sense that his uh, Giga Max attack would be like an electric guitar being smashed on the ground, considering yeah. he's an electric type. That's his thing. I don't. Know, I thought it worked. Yeah. Uh, not like genius, not mind blowing, which, like another Pokemon from Gen Seven, but um, you know, good, mm -hmm. good job. Good. Yeah. All right, next. I, this one we don't need to talk too much about. I mean, just look at it. We do. We did need to talk about your, uh, yes. your honorable mention, though. <laughs> yes. Uh, Toxicity was yeah my honorable mention. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's Yamper. Um, Yamper's fucking adorable. It's a Yorkshire Yamper Terrier. Really cute. Corgis have heart-shaped butts, and of course they didn't fail here. They gave. I'm gonna use this fan. You got art the photo of the, the rear. I find, but um. Uh, yes, they they managed to give him slash her the perfect little heart shaped butt like a corgi deserves. Fantastic. It's adorable. It's it's just, mm, perfection. I love it. Um, it's cute. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I like I like the first form. Unfortunately, I do not like what he evolves into. So yeah, he, he did not make the list because of that. Yeah, that's well, how yeah, it was. I, mean, I don't even too. know what it's named. Boltund. It's Boltund. I don't Boltund, like it either, yeah. but. I, he he still made my list as his own unit because he's a cutie. He is a cutie. That's there's no doubt. I get it. It is a cute pup. Okay, the next one's the green goblin. Is <laughs> <laughs> the green goblin? Um, oh I man! Had him on my team the whole time. Second, because I think it works well with the UK thing, given you know the whole like oh fantasy largely takes place there. Fantasy kind of yeah. originated there as a genre. Um, you know, there's lots of folklore about imps and goblins and shit like that. Uh, witches in the woods, and that's kind of like, you know, all of those things, I think, is what he represents. It's just like, you know, uh, folklore, I guess. And, like, it, it works, you know. He's a, he's a, you know, sneaky little creepy goblin dude. Oh, and he's, he's also, he's, like, he's very... jacked. Yeah, that's, I was going to say, though, like as a creepy little goblin guy, you wouldn't expect him to be, like, jacked. I, I don't really it's particularly cool. like that part about him. I like that part, um, actually, because, like, it's, like, um, well, let me look at the other evolutions. But, like, I think something that they did that was kind of, like, neat. There are some different is, forms of him. I know that. Yeah, Yeah, he starts out, like, pathetic and wimpy looking. And in the next form is, like, more confident. And in Grimmsnarl, it's just, like, fucking jacked and then the giga gigantamax form is just mad it's just this massive black shadow and i mean i could just be misconstruing it you know i could just be writing my fan fiction right now but 
my interpretation of this is with the, all of these, like, you know, f- fo- these legends, right? The mm-hmm. idea is like, oh, like, you know, the more you fear it, the more you believe in it, it grows stronger and more powerful. Yeah. And so, like, the fact that it looks goofy and stupid in its first iteration, I'm going to post the picture here, and then procedurally gets more and more intimidating and large and powerful visually i think that is kind of what it's intended to symbolize and i think it works um yeah i i get that Uh, his his final form i i I don't really like his face gonna be honest yeah Um, i don't like his face either i don't like his face and i i don't i don't don't know i i don't like that he's like super buff i don't know it just doesn't seem unless he's hot (laughs) Um, yeah so it's okay I, for them the the humanoid Pokemon as long as as long as they're hot. No, uh, yeah, he's hot. hot. He's hot though. Um, oh, yeah, Grimmsnarl definitely has washboard abs. So I mean that 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 covers up a lot. He's of just it got too. he's just got big arms and big legs, and it's just his his abs is just like they're he has pecs, but then no yeah. no, <laughs> no nothing else. I, I I just thought he was a cool design. I like the colors too in the 3D model. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a cool design. Um, but you know, again, not genius like this last design. Um, yeah. This one is just fucking brilliant. I, is this? Oh, am I missing something? I am missing something. Um, those of you who've played a certain game with me will know why this Pokemon's on my list. Okay. Okay. I mean, come on, it's Sif. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's my man Sif. He's uh... the reason I chose Sword. Ian, Ian would Ian would know as well, correct? You you know what he's he's talking about, Ian? Is he from Dark Souls? Yes, he is the the, the doggo with the sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay, that one. Okay, okay, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I have a firm belief that the dog with the sword in its mouth is the dumb design. It's the worst. It's the one of the worst things that came out of this gen. Oh, you oh got I it. disagree. I think the one that he posted before was, but. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually really love Zassian's design. Um, I mean, you know, granted, uh, even, even besides the fact that like, oh, it's it's Sif from Dark Souls, you know, haha. I just think it it worked. I don't see any issues with the design itself. I think it's a cool design. I liked the progression again, like the whole difference in model, but like yeah. I, I like. Pokemon with changing models. I like how if he doesn't have a sword equipped, he's a battered and wounded and like kind of like, you know, less impressive and majestic version of himself. And then, you yeah, know, looks like a dog. Sword, it's like, oh, I'm complete. Um, look at me. I'm fucking scary and strong and cool. And he has I, no I think purpose this, except yeah. on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> I think the shield one is dumber. I think sword is cool. I think shield looks kind of dumb. The shield one does look dumb. That is unfortunately uh, the one that I had, though. Um, I like the shield more, honestly. Um, whatever his name was. But, uh... Shield Leon. I don't yeah. Know, fucking know. But I don't know. The shield, it, it looks like a big mane, and he looks like he's like a big... He's a, he's, you know, he's just a big, like, Most burly a knight. Mane. He's a wolf! I don't wolves know. I mean, have wolves, wolves, have, wolves are furry. I don't wolves, know. I've, wolves also don't have swords. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I like I the can. sword. Or I like I've the seen shield. I've videos of, of dogs with butter knives. It only makes sense that a larger dog would have a larger blade. This is true. I can't argue with that logic. You know? <laughs> so. I don't know. When you see the animations or whatever, and he's like biting the sword, and you're like, come on. Like, he's just holding a sword in his mouth? That's, like, that's silly. Yeah, like, that is true. Yeah, I could never get past that, that is for me. The one weak thing about both this game as a whole and also this specific Pokemon's model, they have a Pokemon like you know when you get a legendary, especially like a title legendary, you the big yeah. excitement around it is like oh I can't wait to see the cool exclusive move they have, and the animations for like all of the legendaries in this game are pathetic. They're pretty weak, especially his where it's just like his 3D model ice skating, unlike. A random like colory colored like blurry background and he's just like shoom, shoom, shoom. yeah oh look at me i'm swinging around but like not really the animators fell asleep here um <laughs> i just had a funny thought though so, because <clears throat> you know it's the this the uh, sword pokemon and the shield pokemon right mm-hmm. but here what if 
what would this be better or worse if the sword and the shield was this was the um sword and the shield from the, the pokemon uh aegis slash <laughs> like they had to kill oh. him to get the one they have to murder <laughs> <Aegis> <laughs> yeah. in order to Idiot. equip alec do you know which one i'm talking about yes that'd be hardcore okay. yeah that would be but they're using a dead pokemon as a weapon I... in this game. <laughs> bottom line though i think Zacian has a cool design zamazenta can suck my fucking ass um <laughs> all okay. right now next one and last one and best one by far of this whole gen it's an indisputable fact don't add me is this fucking masterpiece of a pokemon okay i i this one is on my list as well Same. this yeah. is the first really? one that actually is on my yes. list i love him it's so i like him I there is think Dragapult is so dumb. Like, no, he's just, no he's just dumb. Like, he's got like a spaceship for a head. No, he's got like a launch pad for him to no. launch his children like a responsible parent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's it's, a, it's like a fucking Death Star, a red Death Star of a head. Oh my god. With, he, with goofy T Rex arms and a ghost tail. It's, it's, it's literally he's modeled after like a stealth bomber. And I think it's so yeah. fucking. There's no, there's no logic. There's not much more depth than oh, UK. They have stealth bombers, sure, I guess. But like, who gives a shit? Look, it's a fucking dragon with a stealth bomber as a head that fires its own children like missile. <laughs> I mean, it's so cool. But like, uh, sure, it's stupid. So it's it is a stupid design, but it's also genius in how yeah. confidently they executed it. That's what. Yeah. Gets is like I get it's, you. Argue it's a stupid design, all a stupid idea, all you want, like dumb concept, sure. But they nailed it. Like it's beautiful. The colors, yeah. The the actual like, I don't know, the simplicity of it. Like somehow you get a, the sense of exactly what it is. It has so much personality. But they didn't overdo it with like all these like. If I feel like if this Pokemon were invented last gen, you would get like a bunch of like extremities a bunch of like extra wings and then like lines all over and yeah. like you know just ridiculous stupid like techno mechanical detail that's like completely yeah. worthless and lost but and here it's, it's like he needs arms okay beep, beep. there we yeah. go it's like yeah. you know, it's just a gecko <laughs> with a stealth bomber as a head and great color choices and little baby little baby dragapults just sitting, waiting to be Ready shot. To be at. fired out of his out of his missiles, out of and his it's forehead. Amazing. And it, if you saw the Pokemon Twilight Wings anime, which is beautiful, by the way, you would even you would you would get a lot more appreciation. I think you'd understand more where I'm coming from. Isn't he also a ghost? He's ghost. He's uh, dragon. Yeah, he's ghost, ghost, right? Yeah, because yeah, he's, he's a stealth a bomber, which yeah, is the oh, thing. Like he's yeah, like yeah. ghosts are stealthy, and he's a bomber. I remember he's I saw a dragon. Him. But it's Polt and his name. I don't know. Look, he, he didn't do it for me. I'll be honest with you. I'll I do think. It for me. I'll do and like, a big thing for me is his colors. Like, I really do think that the colors were bad. What? I think the, the red. I think that the red is, didn't fit. Mister choosing the fucking elephant guy. What? Who are you to talk the about? Elephant looks good. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are wrong the about. Y'all are wrong about the elephant. It is literally just an elephant, but ugly. All right. <laughs> the elephant. Just just the colors, I think. I think Dragapult's colors were, were, were they um, were like too bright for a guys, ghost type. Back me up here. And for like the number one, like like the dragon type of the gen. Oh, back but they, me up But here they made again. him like red and green. And it's like, come on. If he's going to be a stealth so bomber, make him badass. Make him I black mean, and purple. Badass. Like, he's what every parent wants to be. So I don't, I don't know what else there is to say. Look, I don't know. I don't know if you can count sending your children off to war to fight in your own battles is is the kind of parent well, well I, I just meant the, the launching off into, into yeah. whatever part yeah i don't know like dragapult just didn't do it for me i'm, I'm oh, sorry Lord. to disappoint here just was not gonna make the list and i always loved i usually love the dragon types they usually nail them per gen and i just felt like dragapult was a i was bet a, you're a, a fucking drag. dragonite fan aren't you Who's not? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I mean, He's on uh, I don't, I don't want to get into spoiler ter territory, but I think Dragonite is 
one of the worst evolutions that there is to ruin a Pokemon. I mean, wow. you, you have such wow. solid design, and then you turn into a big goofy dragon that looks like he came out of Dragon Tales. <laughs> exactly, he came out of Dragon Tales. <laughs> so that's <Wait>. great. <laughs> Hang on, we don't want to. We don't want to. We'll, we'll we'll save the discussion for yeah. for Gen this One. Is, in but yeah, all right, yeah. So how long that's gonna take to get to? I'm gonna we step all... away for a quick mom, but continue your discussion. Yeah. Well, it's Ian's turn, so. Well, do you want to let Ian go, or should we wait? Uh, we can wait a little bit. I actually I can hear the dogs downstairs losing their mind because they're nuts. So I I probably need to check on yeah. them. Yeah. All right, go check on the dogs. All right. Logan and I will continue to argue that that Dragapult was a bad design. Um, They're just goofy. He's just goofy, and he just doesn't do it for me. It, he's goofy, and he and it didn't work. Well, here's and the I normally yeah, like yeah. the goofy. Like I have. Uh, yeah. There are a couple of my Pokemon are goofy, like Galarian Weezing and Surfetched. But like I just didn't man, just it just didn't work. Like he wasn't goofy on purpose to me. You know what I mean? Um And I think I, I think I like that. I like when they're goofy on purpose. Like Ice Q and Galarian Weezing. And I'm like, yeah, goofy, but it, you know, it's self aware goofy. But I think they tried to make Dragapult cool and it just failed. I don't know. I, I I thought he looked cool, to be honest. I am trying yeah. to picture his like the top of his head is completely black. I can't decide if it's like or worse. I'm thinking like black and purple, and like get rid of the tan underneath his chin. Black I mean, and purple. Yeah. Let me let me just think um, something like closer to Gengar's color scheme. Okay. Let me just turn off simpler. the noise suppression for a second. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just I think I just maybe didn't the different like colors it. help it kind of. I don't know. Maybe it make you see his lines at least. Yeah, it'd be easier to like, you know. Uh, and I actually, I actually really do like what uh, Alec brought up of like, he's simple, which is good, because if he was built, if he were built, designed, in a previous gen, he would just be ridiculous. Like he'd be impossible to draw. Like and I, and I feel like that's one thing that did get lost a lot, um, is how Pokemon designs used to be, at least drawable by a child, like not good, but a kid yeah. would know how to draw it. Yeah, try, and to, a lot of try later drawing Pokemon. Dialga as a kid. Yeah, and then like, eventually it just like, like you can't like kids I think can't that's draw why Pokemon. I'm anymore. actually like a decent artist is because as a kid I grew up trying to draw fucking Dialga, which is impossible that's a, tough one. that's a tough one that's that's not the one you should try to draw it's I mean, like you artistic could try to draw. calculus it's awful. at least i have plenty of uh plenty of practice drawing palkia or at least parts of them <laughs> in my notebook in class so <laughs> but uh i don't know man just dragon ball just didn't do it for me and i i think you didn't hear me earlier but i don't hate goofy pokemon but i i like them when they're goofy on purpose and and Dragapult, Dragapult wasn't Drag goofy on purpose. It's a fucking dragon cat. They tried no. They tried to make him cool. They tried to make him cool, and they're like, oh no 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 no. I don't think he, I don't think so. I think like I think they tried so. to make him. I I think I think they nailed the balance perfectly between like cute and cool and pop. Like yeah, look at the face. He doesn't have like the badass like you know um like the demon eyes or like yeah. um you know like like a legendary like dialga or palkia or like you know any of those it doesn't have you know glowing eyes it doesn't have you know cartoony anime eyes which go too cute no it just has like simple gen 1 styled rectangular eyes with a little simple line and he looks the previous evolution was dreeple right dreeple yeah it sounds his name's Dreeple because he's a, he's a sleepy guy, you know. This guy he looks like he's awake. He's he's barely making it through his morning, you know. He 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 wanted to stop for coffee, but he's running late for work. He's really pushing. He's really pushing through on I seventy five, and right. <laughs> you know something about that like both makes him look relatable. I mean, it makes. It I makes mean, him he's, 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 he's got his he's got his kids with him. I mean, he didn't yeah, get much sleep last night. He's driving him to school. <laughs> yeah. He's flying him to school. They're like, 
He's got to yeah. drop the kids off at school. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. You know, he's he's and then they're probably like watching, you know, the same episode of fucking Tom and Jerry in the back seat that he's heard a million times and memorized the entire soundtrack to. You know, the and then Tom falls in the fountain. And there's a psh, and he's yeah. sick of it. He's sick of that shit. And so if you look in his eyes, you can see all of those emotions, and and that just makes you feel more attached and you know related and identified with him mm-hmm. while also you know one thing you can't relate with he's a fucking dragon catapult you know so it's that perfect balance between like relatable funny cool sexy you know For he's sure. got it all. like i could like i could run i could run into this pokemon and go into the grocery store and like you know hit up a conversation yeah. with him like like i can't run into zamazenta I'll admit, no. I can't run into Zamazenta or Zacian at the grocery store. Like, I'd be a little intimidated. No. They're probably, way too. They're way too serious. I'd walk in a very big circle around them. But this guy, you know, if he if he was having trouble finding like, you know, a certain kind of thing in the frozen aisle, like kid cuisine, you know, one of his kids was complaining he wants like the, the that, this one. He's like, I can't find it. You know, I'd I'd step up and help him out. Yeah. I think I mean, that's a very I think that's a very strong argument for this Pokemon, Alex. Mm-hmm. I agree, because he is also on my list. So I, and I I'm think, going to edit, edit, echo everything you said. Great. And I think I think one last thing, just to finish this off before we move on, is, uh, you know, he's he's a good Pokemon. I, I feel <laughs> like I had a thought, but I kind of lost it. So I'm just going to reiterate. Let's let's give let's give uh, Dragapult a pat on the back here. I mean, and also just just look at his eyes. That's. That's the eyes of a parent that is fucking done with their kids' bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute. It's cute, exactly. And, and also, kids are, kids let's, are like let's all... loud. And look, it, it, they are always constantly right next to his ears. I'm assuming yeah. the ones on the far right and the far left are his Rockets. ears. No wonder he oh. looks so annoyed. And then, and then, I remember what I was gonna say is like we should all not pat the Pokemon on the back, pat the artist on the back because you know. All of these scenarios we just imagined and talk about, that's what he was imagining. That was his vision for the that's, character in the first that's place. His, that's his life. That's yeah. him. <laughs> this, this, is, his, this is the artist's representation of himself. <laughs> yeah. Self-portrait. Untitled. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. I think uh, that's good to cap it off. Um, Ian? All right, Ian, it's your up. Oh, okay. First, I want to preface uh, my list with fact that I despise Grim Snarl and that although he doesn't have the like text that Hypno has in the early games in the Pokedex, that is what he looks like. He I know that Jimmy Savile is a UK icon. He looks like he's the, the Pokemon that represents him the best. So I hate him. An wow. absolute creepy Pokemon. It looks like he diddles kids. Oh gosh. He definitely he definitely does give the diddle vibe. Uh, especially the the previous evolutions of him as well. Yeah, I hate him. Okay. Anyways, list time. Okay. All right. So let it rip, Ian. Uh, do I go backwards and then end at number one? I, I don't know uh, if you guys. Oh, mine are not. Mine are not, mine are not in order. Oh, I didn't know you we were making them. I thought we just. Mine are not in order. I mean, you can have if yours are in order, go for it. But mine are not. Particular order. I just saved the best for last. Okay. All right. Well. I guess we'll pretend that I didn't order it. So uh, I'll start off with Urshifu, who I gotta be honest, I gotta check which Pokemon this is. He's on my list. I think it's the bear that looks like he does karate. Bear that looks like oh, the yeah. Bear. yeah, he's a part of the expansion. L- 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 yeah, l- yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah, you're not to post a picture. I do not Shifu? remember. Urshifu? What's his name? Urshifu? I think like, it's Kupfu like. Kupfu or. The Kupfu. Like yeah, Kubfu is the or yeah K U B F U. The mists are clearing a little bit, but I'm gonna need that. All right, I, yeah. I got the picture. All right, here he is. Oh, okay. that one. Okay. So. He is a bear, right? Yeah, he's a bear. I don't know. He's just like a cool fighting call- bear. I like him. Yeah. I mean, I don't, like, it gives me like Ryu vibes from from Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, he does. I mean, I didn't I didn't play. I played the first six gyms of Sword and Shield, so like I have like a weird view. So I never use this guy, but I don't. I just thought he was kind of cool. What you guys doing? Yeah, I get that. Oh hey, Duncan, you're just hey. in time. Just in time. <laughs> Delivering Pokemon, Pokemon tier lists. We're gonna need was, you real quick. We are doing a Pokemon tier list. Yeah. 
We're going to need you real quick to look at a list of Generation 8 Pokemon. Oh, and fuck. Come up, come up with your sixth favorite. <laughs> From Gen... I don't... Well, which one's Generation 8? The, the newest Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Now, well, Ian, have... let me let me tell you why you're wrong about this Pokemon, okay? I mean, I'm not. I don't like him that strongly, so go ahead and tell me. Okay. Why. He's, my see, is he a bad Pokemon? No. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't impressed. I, I didn't. I saw him. I got him. I threw him out of my party the second I was done with the expansion because I was bored of him. You know why I was bored of him, Ian? Because look at this. Because you don't like cool bears that punch. Does them? this look like an original yeah. idea to you? Yes. I mean, I mean, look, one is the, like, drunken dad who gets into a bar fight with his beer gut. The other one is a chiseled specimen. He, he's the, <laughs> he's Bruce Lee. The other one is, uh, I don't yeah, know. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Have you seen Drunken Master? Like, any of them? You know who wins. It's the drunken dad. Every time. Every single time. He, he, I have faith you know. in the drunk dad. Can you just give me the name of the one you posted? I forgot it. It's Pangoro. Pangoro, thank you. Okay, thank you. And then, and then, just, just fucking wait a second. We're not done yet. Ursaring. Oh. Which one of these? He is just a bear. bear. That is, yeah, that is Ursaring bear. is just a bear. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's no, just a bear. Look, which one of these angry bear dads is gonna, is gonna give it hardest? Uh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just the bear he says now he's gonna fight you for for insulting him that way Look, I mean, they're, my, they're my favorite bad. my favorite of the three is gonna be ursa ring um i you know but uh, you know okay i, I, I don't i got freaking tassels on his shoulder no <laughs> dude angoro's sick I, as the person that absolutely loves gen 2 i think that pangoro is the better bear to be honest yeah yeah, he's got the little little piece of hay in his mouth, little little plant in his mouth. Because you know he was, you know, not that long ago, before someone pissed him off, he was just like sitting under a tree, just like chewing on the chewing on the stick, and like, oh man, hope I don't have the to beat anyone to ass today. And the fucking and French mafia kidnapped his daughter. You know what happens next? That's right. So he got up, and now he's now he's here to kick ass. But you know, he's still cool because he's still got the the stick in his mouth. I don't know, man. Pangoro's a cool one. Agree. Well, we're talking about uh, the. Talking about, no, we're here to shower. Whatever this thing is, this. Urshifu? Yeah. Urshifu. Is that his name? Urshifu. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I was, I yeah, you said you didn't feel that strongly about it, so. No, I've no, got, no. I've got, I've got one on my list <laughs> that I, I also didn't feel that strongly about. Um, I, I do like it, but um, so we we can just move on to the next yeah. one. We kinda, we kinda Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Beat him up a little more. No, I'm kidding. You can move on. All right. Okay. I let me let me pull up the picture. Uh, the next one is definitely Centra Scorch because he reminds me of the centipede at this park at Mission Bay in San Diego that I used to play on. A I played at that park centipede? a lot, and that centipede was sick. And there he's was the fire the, centipede. The centipede yeah. was always there. Yeah. No. Yeah. It was always there. The same okay. one. He okay. was just waiting for Ian to return. I mean, kids weird. loved the fucking centipede. I don't he, think he oh, that thing. Like yeah. Oh, fuck off. No, what even is that cool. thing? He's a fire it's centipede. A centipede. He's a centipede with a with a like a goofy mustache eyebrow yeah. thing. Yeah, look at those sweet ass eyebrows that he has. Does his ass he, have he, one he, too? I mean, yes. he's yes. I mean, who is, is he? Like he, cat dog? Is he two sided? <laughs> Wait, what? Dog? Is there? Air bug type now. He's bug fire, and you say that like that's an insult. I think that's cool. We all like cat dog. <laughs> and then also his mustache and eyebrows looks like the dude from uh, Samurai Jack, the the bad dude. He does. Oh, Aku. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, what else did I expect from Ian, the person who doesn't appreciate? I don't. I, I don't hate that those. choice, Ian. I think that's. I think yeah. Scent of Scorch is kind of cool. Yeah, he's Stiff. he's not on my list, but yeah, I I can see it. And like when I see him, I want to, like, just because he's like so flat, I I want to just grab him by the front and like, <laughs> do like a like with my like wrist fold him over. No, not fold him over. Well, I guess yeah, fold him over. Like, do you want to slap like, him on your wrist? Slap, so he's a slap like a bracelet. 
Or, yeah. or that, yeah, that's good too. I, I meant just like, you know, send a ripple through them, like, you know, like, wave my wrist, and like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, like you would, like an example in like science class, like, oh, this is how waves, uh, you know, yeah. travel, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Just have him, just have him wiggle in the wind. What yeah. is he? Is he like a stovetop? What? He's what a centipede. Is he? He's, He's a centipede. centipede. He's just a centipede. Why does he have little targets on his belly? He looks like a Zelda boss that you have to like fight with motion controls. He does kind of <laughs> look like a Zelda boss. <laughs> he does have targets. That's true. Yeah. The glowy, the glowy part, man. That's where you gotta hit him I with the arrow. I just can't take him seriously. I mean... I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're not with you. I think Zeta Scorch is pretty cool. I, yeah, I, I don't hate it. Exclamation mark on his head. I think you should you should aim here. <laughs> Why does he have that? Yeah, no, you shoot you shoot him in the belly, and then his he like flops and his head falls flat in the ground, well, the and you have to ground then, pound on his head. You gotta yeah. use the hammer. You gotta use a hammer at that or point. Hammer, use the hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hammer on his forehead. Yeah. yeah. It's like, why would I take him seriously? He has instructions written on him <laughs> <laughs> on how to defeat him. Yeah, and you know that in the dungeon that uh, he is in, there are little little things that you have to hit all across the dungeon that look exactly like the things on his chest. So the player knows, oh, I need to shoot those because I've been trained going <laughs> through this dungeon that I have to shoot those things when I see them. Shoot them, they turn dark, and so you yeah. know, oh, I have to shoot all of them. Yeah, and then yeah. the weakness will show up. It's so, yeah. so straightforward, and you know I mean, that's what the designer intended. It was actually a Zelda boss, and they're like, "Can we just Pokemon?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey Miyamoto, can we borrow that real quick? <laughs> I mean, clearly he's such a badass that they need a trainee just how to beat him. So yeah. <laughs> I, I think, like I think it. They I like it, the, Ian. I like they it. They told the artist, like, your dreams come true. You get to work on your favorite Nintendo franchise. He's like, oh boy! He starts drawing <laughs> Zelda bosses. <laughs> and that's when he he came up with, uh, like, Zamazenta, Zacian, uh, Grim Snarl, all of the ones that don't look like Pokemon. And then, uh, and of course, the Centipede. And then they were like, hey, what, what are you? You realize you're working on Pokemon, right? But you <laughs> don't said so. And then, uh, here we are. All right. Okay. Uh, so I think my next one is probably going to get a lot of hate. But I don't know. I just, I just, I just like it. I don't like it at all. What it evolves the heat, into. Ian. Drop the, the heat, Ian. I like... Uh, this is going to make me seem like a weirdo. But I, I like Galarian Ponyta, unironically. I think it's kind of cool. Because I, I like Ponyta in the original one. I don't like... Uh, Rapidash in either of the games, actually. But I, I think Galarian Ponyta is, like, I don't know. All right. Can you post a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah, I was pulling get, one uh, We got this here in a second. I think I know what it looks like, but... Uh, so, specifically, Ponyta, not it's, the Rapidash. I mean, we know what it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's... it's I don't know. It's it's the My Little Pony. Like it's. Yep. I mean, I mean it, exactly is, it is. But yeah. I don't know. It's just. I don't know. What is wrong with the unicorn? I think it's fine. The I think it's perfectly taste. fine. That's but what's wrong. But it's it's just. I don't know, man. It's, it's literally just, just a little like, too My Little Pony for yeah, me. Yeah, like, it's literally it's, just I, cotton candy. Yeah. It is I mean, cotton candy. I, I think it is cute, though. I mean, I won't deny. I'm like, oh, like that. I like, mean, I, th that's basically it. And I didn't. I don't need. I don't even know if I've ever seen My Little Pony on TV, but. So maybe that association is like not that drawn into my brain, but I don't know. I just like it's fine. Uh, I think it's cool. You didn't watch. You, you weren't a. You weren't a pony, bro. You didn't watch My Little Pony, unironically. As I mean, old man. My sister had My Little Pony toys, so I saw her have the My Little Ponies. But I don't think I ever saw the show. I don't even know what it what it was on. What a shame. What a shame. Was it on Nickelodeon or something? I don't know. I actually have no idea where it was at. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I I'm, I wasn't a big fan of the Galarian Ponyta. It's it's got poofy cotton candy mane. Oh, they gave it a though. unicorn horn. I think Ponyta was already a horn unicorn though. Right? Yeah, rapid was, was yeah, rapid Ash, yeah, they're just like let's make it like a instead of a fire unicorn, let's just make it a unicorn ass unicorn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I can tell you one thing: at least one person got horny from looking at this Pokemon. Nice. 
Uh, oh god, that, that... <laughs> Rapidash is an abomination, but we can just pretend that that part of it doesn't exist. That is disgusting. Next, <laughs> just, now, yeah. Can you, can you imagine, okay. like, if you were, if you were, like, if you were, like, it had a saddle and you were riding on it? And it's just Maine was just constantly blowing in your face. <laughs> you just can't see. That's a lot of hair. Too luscious. I, it's got like such an angry fucking face. I mean, maybe a unicorns would be an angry ass species. I don't know. <laughs> That's why they have the horn. <laughs> they gotta defend themselves. <laughs> yeah. Were well, you guys yeah. finding all these images of the okay. Pokemon? Google. Wait, sorry? Uh, internet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. My next two are, are have already been said. Dragapult, who is incredible. I don't. I mean, top tier. And then Corviknight as well, which just is just absolutely great design. Corviknight is great. I, I mean, probably one of the best designed Pokemon to me in like the past three gens, at least. I think maybe past four. I'd agree I don't know. With that. And then uh, number one, who I I am actually shocked that no one has said this. I think that. Grookey is actually I mean he's so oh. cool. What is wrong oh, with him? No. Oh you no. Like him. no. What is wrong? He's just a fucking monkey. He's a green monkey with the He's skin. got a fucking orange as a mouth with a smiley face. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. <laughs> Why do you have to fucking grow it? Because <laughs> he's bad. Because he's not good. I yeah. I almost I chose Grookey, if it makes you feel better. I chose Grookey because I liked what he evolved into more. Um, oh, but I, even like then, I think he looked better as a, as the little monkey. I think he got worse as he went, in my opinion. I, really? I, I like the big drum. I, I think the big, the big drum. drum was the best. I, I think the problem with Grookey for me, again, is a thing with originality. Because he's far from the first monkey, let alone the first, like, tree monkey Pokemon. Monkey, yeah. So like it, it, there is there is absolutely nothing here for me. Here's I mean, I hate all of those monkeys. Okay, well, what about what about this monkey? Oh, I no, you do not. <laughs> no, <laughs> wrong. What about this hey, one? Pop, no, I not. hate him too. Okay, what about what about this monkey right here, the one whose name is almost monkey? I mean, monkey. Part, you know, part for, part all right. But I he, thought you were. He's I, just I, all right. Say primate. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I don't know. There's I, too many. I didn't see the monkeys orange monkeys face before. before. I don't think too many monkeys is a problem. I mean, a lot of the monkeys do look pretty different. Like, I mean, obviously orangutan, um, darmanitan. I thought, I thought they did a pretty good job. Yeah, but like, is adorable. We all agree. Hand. We all agree, right? This is the stupidest looking one. Yeah, what? I did not like him. Yeah, Grookey, you mean? No, the like one he just uh, second, second of all. Grookey yeah. 2.0. Oh yeah, Grookey's evolution. <laughs> the Wacky, the, the long, the long monkey. <laughs> <laughs> With a fucking attitude, yeah. Let's take his his body will just. I don't know. Him I didn't hate the drum though, so I I, I did choose him. The drum was kind of cool, but yeah. Uh, as I, a, I, I thought though, Alec, just as a thing, when you were when you were. Putting all the pictures of the monkey and Ian was shooting all of them down, and you were like, "All right, okay, we'll take a look at this monkey." I honestly thought you were going to post a picture of Ian. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what about this monkey? So here's what kind of gets on my nerves, and a quick tangent here: there were a bunch of Pokemon designs that, after like you know leaks about like the new Pokemon game came out, people like really strongly believed. Let me find this one that like these would be the new pokemon um just based on like leaked like pokemon designs from inside like nintendo and game freak you know people believe that these would be like the new final evolutions for each of the starters and they were so much better this is the fire one right this is what people thought um the bunny was gonna evolve into oh, instead of just cool. a that's terrible uh, i love this one i like this one no, that's no, terrible no, oh, i'm glad no, i'm glad no. whatever fan no, drew that no. Was not hey, 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 no no first of all it's not it's not a fan this is actual game freak um looks like, but, the, like the michelin <laughs> <laughs> all right well rather than grookey being like oh it's a monkey that plays drums i uh, there's a there was a leak First of all, fuck you guys. I like the rocket bunny. Is it, is it a monkey um, that plays guitar? 
No. It's actually I want a, a, I want a mo- whole Pokemon it's, monkey band. It, it was going to be a monkey that plays rugby. <laughs> what? No, no that, that's, that's, an, that's an actual Pokemon. Yeah, that's is right. That, yeah. Is, that is the... He showed it in the picture of all the monkeys. Yeah. What Pokemon is that? I actually don't recognize that. That is a real Pokemon. Oh, wait, Passimian, Passim- I think. Passimian. Wait, Passimian exists? Yeah, he's real. He's in, in He's in Sun and Moon. I think. Is he? He's real! Yeah, he's <laughs> real! I'm currently looking through the whole real. list of them when we find it. This is, this, is changing, this is changing Alec's life right now. I mean, Alec, you posted the picture with all the monkeys. And yeah, he's, he's right there. there. Yeah, he's in the picture. <laughs> next to the orangutan on the bottom, and the one that has five pictures. Yo, guys, I don't see him in the set. Wait, what? Is he from, like... Oh, he's just from Sun and Moon? He gotta be. Okay, oh, I think okay, they should have okay. switched. Then I think yeah. I think the drum monkey should have been in Sun and Moon because it fits that better. And I think the rugby monkey Eddie? should have been in Sun and Moon. Or should have been a in white Sun monkey though. He looks nothing like the rest of them. What do you mean he's a what? What are you talking about? Okay. Well, they should have made the other ones. Should have made the other ones white then. Like fuck, it's rugby. Rugby's like the most UK you can get. I, that's true. This is my first Sorry, time seeing like the Pokemon from Sword and Shield. What the fuck is a Greedent? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Gen have- Seven. No, we're doing Sword and Shield later. We can, we can, we can rip on Sword and Shield later. We're doing Gen Eight right now. Oh, that, okay. that is Sword and Shield. So fuck Wait, you guys. I like you mean that. Sun and Moon. Gen, Gen Eight is Moon, sorry. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Sun and Moon. I thought you were talking about Sun and Moon. No, no. Greedents and Sword and Shield. Wait Greedent. a second. Why, what are these oh. new Reggies? Oh my god. <laughs> no, Greedent is terrible. You're right. Yeah, look at the thing. I'm like, what the fuck is that? The fucking creepy squirrel. Uh, what's his <laughs> number? Oh, you're talking about... Oh, I hate him. I mean, I, I hate a lot of Pokemon from this gen, to be completely honest. Y- yeah, but... I don't like most of these things. I don't know. Or you, you Google Greedent and you have this pop up, though, and I don't know. It, it changes my opinion <laughs> at least a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty yeah, good. No, when so I, whenever, dumb. whenever I saw him, you know, like those like animatronic things, like then like yes. cheese. It looks like he'd be like one of those. It things. does look like yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he looks. He looks like he's a mascot of. Uh, he'd play in like some sort of country ba- like themed yeah. thing. With, like, like there'd be like a bear that's like the leader. Or exactly. Something. Playing the banjo, he's like on like yeah. He, he, <clears throat> Greedent yeah. straight up looks like a forest animation. Children's character. Children's yeah, he's, show character. He, needs, he needs overalls, is what he needs. That's right. <laughs> or or Peter Griffin's outfit, like you've put. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. Hey guys, how are we, quick tangent. How are we two months away from the release of the Pokemon Diamond Pro remake, and we've only gotten one trailer? We know what it is. Because everyone yeah. knows what it is. <laughs> like, how many trailers uh, do you need? But like they they, they 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 updated the graphics. They should be showing that off. It looks kind of good now. Nah, huh? nah. I'll, I'll I'll be know. I don't know. You said- so let's let it be a surprise. Yeah, let it drop. Also, guys, what the fuck is this infodim? I don't want new features. If there are any features, or are there really no features? Like, are they really not adding a single quality of life thing? Look, like we all know what Skyward Sword is, but they're releasing a bajillion trailers of that. Yeah, infodim. Infodim's a infodim sphere. Like I agree, he's 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 a weird looking. It's just Alex's favorite Pokemon in the game. Oh, Alex yeah. Is you guys already sent that one in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, his evolution, yeah, his evolution's in the chat. And that was yeah, I Alex. see the evolution, but, but let me just, let me just send the, the, actual, the normal one. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> it is, it is disgusting. Yeah, he's, he's, it's a weird one. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's let's make sure we're still moving along. We're getting a little on the tangent here, but all right, Ian. Yeah, Ian, is that all, Ian? I mean, I guess I'm done, right? Because uh, Corviknight and uh, someone else. Who did I say? Oh, Dragapult. How could I? How could Dragapult. I oh. and, and, and what were your six, and what were your six, real quick? I, I don't because I know you had oh. some. Just just Her, name them real quick. Urshifu, Centris okay. Scorch, Galarian Ponyta, Dragapult, Corviknight, and Garuki. Although I will say. That my mind has definitely been changed on uh, Weezing, so he w- he would have to make my list now. But okay, Galarian yeah. Weezing, yeah. yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go with Top Hat Weezing. Oh shit, I missed that one. 
Yeah, look yeah. up Galarian Weezing, dude. It's it's worth. I mean, he's, you can just scroll up in general chat, and you'll see he posted a picture. Yeah, of him. he's here somewhere. All right. Well, Logan, last well, but surely not least. Well, no, I'm not last because Duncan's here now, so he's he's gonna go after me. But uh, Duncan, how, how's your list uh, coming? Is Duncan actually doing it? I wasn't sure if Duncan was gonna. Uh, I don't. I, I don't like most of these things. All right, that's fine. That's fine. You can just you can just add input. Like, I, I would just pick yeah. all of the big rock guys. <laughs> that's where i'm currently at i'm like they're the only ones who aren't horrendous okay and let me like i like colossal but it's just right on and aggron at the same time let me just pull up a picture <laughs> i do like appleton though he got that fucker's just an apple pie i do like that one a lot too i like i like um how it starts out as like an apple with a worm in it and then it spreads wings and you find out it's fucking disgusting inside all right okay so oh. four of mine four of mine have actually already been been done because we've got dragapult corviknight dreadnought and toxicity have all been named so i only have actually two that are unique to me so the first one and i think i didn't think this one was going to be like not liked but like judging by what, what i've heard from this discussion i, I guess this is not going to be very well received but drop it drop it it's going to be cinderace the fire start the final evolution of the fire starters it's soccer bunny yes the soccer one that's I... that's why I... it's not the it just looks like a he's not I bad know. i don't think he's actually bad it's just no he's just not good like i, just I don't think like his him. design is is awful but he, i do he doesn't look like, like a pokemon but like it doesn't look game. bad in game, he's better because um, his animations give him yes. a lot. Yes, yeah, that, his animations gonna, was, is really good. I was going to talk about point. that, especially his uh, his second form. I forget what it's called. Raboot. It, like, Raboot. Yes. Raboot. Yeah, but because it looks like he's like wearing a hoodie, and he's got like like he's got like his like hands in like the little uh, pockets in the front. Like he just like doesn't care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let he me looks, see if I can. He looks chill as fuck. That's true. He's, he looks like he's got a knife on him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then there's a here. Let me, here, I'll post the in-game one so you can see him because he's like, this is like his pose that he'd do before he's like taking like a penalty shot at a at a goalie right here, because he's the ace. Like I mean, I don't know. And and the name is good because Cinder and Ace Cinder is yeah. Awesome. So yeah, he, he is he is like bad the he is a, he's, bad choice. He's yeah. not my favorite. I was worried because it was like everyone's like, oh, the humanoid looking ones are not well received, and I'm like, well. Yeah, um, I think oh, that's the problem with Cinderace yeah. for me. Is I don't like think... as a concept, it's literally just a human soccer player, but they gave him ears. Funny ears. And like yeah. I've already yeah. seen Space Jam. Um, you know, I didn't know they were making a new one with Leonardo Ronaldo, but Le like Leonardo Ronaldo. <laughs> Leonardo <laughs> Ronaldo, famous <laughs> basketball player, Leonardo Ronaldo. <laughs> was... Also, yeah, whenever you win a battle, I know that he uh, he does a thing where. He slides on his knees with his with his hands out like soccer players yeah. do. Oh, that's I mean, cool. so, yeah. So I, I do think that they nailed the animation. Like for the Cinder animations tell it. Yeah, because so, some of the animations in like the newer ones, they feel kind of lazy. But like this one is good. I like a uh, toxicity the way that he kind of stands there. He's got his head cocked over and he's like, you know, like he's stick too cool for school kind of thing. Yeah. So you know, I, I like some of them. So I, I I like Cinderace. I thought it was probably the. The Dude, I like starter. Dragapult. This thing is the funky. Yes. Oh yes. my god. Oh, that's yes, that's amazing. Amazing. That's four to one on Dragapult. <laughs> Dragapult is so dumb. He is it's so cool. fucking dumb in the right he's, ways. He's good. He's like a fucking. He's like a stealth bomber. But exactly. He's, exactly. Yeah. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Andrew's uh, the if, only if he one. Wasn't a ghost. I always think oh. it's dumb, but because he's a ghost, it's a lot better. Yeah, I mean, I thought the dragon ghost typing was. Oh, now we're gonna talk about dragon pull again. But dragon ghost typing is so good. Like, why'd they blow it with the dumb design? I don't know. The only isn't the only other previous dragon ghost is Giratina. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. Yeah, Andrew, there was no precedent for it. Yeah, I mean, Giratina's wacky colors too. Giratina is an amazing design. Giratina's Giratina. Yeah, none of legendaries that. are different. Uh, legendaries yeah. are different. They have different rules. Yeah. Do you mean the rule is that you make them look big and dumb, and then people like them? Is that the rule for legendary? You just you just slap like metal and shit on them. Yeah, nice. uh, Eternatus is the stupidest looking legendary. Uh, Hold on, we're talking while. about Logan. It's Logan's <laughs> turn to talk about Logan Pokemon. Go. 
the conch. What the fuck is Eternatus? <laughs> Magic conch. Is it, okay, so. Is Eternatus just computer? What the fuck is that? It looks dumb. Yeah, that one, it's, I don't even know how, I I caught it and then immediately released it, because I, I hated I don't, it. I don't know what, what the fuck is Eternatus Eternamax? I, I, oh, <laughs> what the fuck, is that just God? What is that thing? Yes. It's like a hand Legend. coming from the sky. It's, 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 it's the, you know, Pokemon already had God, but then they power crept their own God with another God. It's just a hand coming from the sky. <laughs> What uh, Pokemon number is he? I'm trying to find him on this Pokedex thing. Oh, uh, he's 890. Okay, thank you. He's a legendary, yeah. I know that, so. Yeah, it's just his fucking... He's bad, Ian. Dynamax really form or whatever is... Like, like look at this. Oh. He just... <laughs> 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 like, that's not a Pokemon. No, it's that's literally just, just geometry. There's just the hand of God <laughs> coming down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna grab you. Yeah, and then and then that's it. It's like I yeah. got you. It's over. Yeah, so what are you I gonna do you now? for all of Eternatus. Oh, I like I, I like the I like the description for its uh, sheet. I guess it has different forms and the fuck are these different forms? There's one where he has like a oh that's the Etern that's the Dynamax version. The shield description for the Dynamax version is just infinite amounts of energy pour from this Pokemon's enlarged core. Warping the surrounding space. Oh, like it's just, <laughs> just pouring out. Just a hand. Like what? The, uh, so the, and the most over-designed hand that anyone has ever seen. Wait, which is I, it? I, I'm sorry. Oh no, sorry. I think this thing is just another rip on Deoxys. Was apparently it's also a it's from a meteorite and it has a core. Huh. So this wow. is so. There's probably just some fucking weird ass planet out there where all these Deoxys and this thing come from. Did the meteorite happen to look like one of those things that you get out of a dispenser machine that has a sticky hand inside of it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it's even it's even pink. Like I mean, <laughs> like the color that they always are. Well, apparently Dynamaxing is because of this guy. Oh, well, look at that. Doesn't make him any more interesting. You get, you get someone even to, more. You get someone to blame for it. All right. He has a mo he has a move called a turn a beam. All right, so <laughs> yeah. turn again. Okay, my last one. Okay, I I I'm like the later forms of this Pokemon. I'm like, eh, they're all right. You know, they're fine. Uh, but I just kind of I kind of like the 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 starting form just for one reason. That is, Hatena Hatina, and oh, yeah. it's just it's just because it, it it looks like it'd be like a like a Kirby enemy oh it does. Like, it does. yeah yeah so like that you get like the little like magic um effect from this one so and i he doesn't have like you know is is like the bangs are covering the eyes and i mean and it's it's basically it, it is it's essentially the exact same thing as you know ralts and then goes to Curlia and Gardevoir because that's that's oh it is cause, yeah because i mean yeah. it's it's final evolution is is psychic fairy and it's like it's the exact same type of thing because like you know Ralts has like the it's got like the bangs or it's like it's covering its eyes and it's real small you can't see it's 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 actually just the same thing but I mean like eh, I mean it 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 works I guess and again it just it looks like a, a Kirby enemy so I just thought it was cute and uh, if Ralts wasn't already in Sword and Shield and I didn't already have one when I saw the rival I think his name was like Bead he had one i probably would have used it but uh yeah. i already had literally a superior version so i was like ah i don't want another psychic fairy type so yeah, yeah. sorry no it is kind of cute though i agree yeah. so i think i think it's a good choice i like them yeah what do you think yeah. Ian? Uh, i didn't i i don't know some of these pokemon grow on me the more i think about it like i think my list is already actively changing but at first, I went into it thinking that I didn't like these Pokemon, but I don't know. It's not that. It's kind of cute, I guess. It's got a weird hat. But... I like it. I like it, too. I like it. Yeah. Uh. I guess so, I guess. Yeah, that's, Is that that's all of them. That's all of them. I'm kind of surprised no one took what them did out. You have, what did you have that was that everyone else already had? Corvin, oh, I, I, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had... Um... 
I had Corviknight, Toxic Rosity. My, 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 yeah, my list was Cinderace, Dragapult, Corviknight, Dredna, uh, Hatena, or Dredna. Hatena. I don't know how to say it, and Toxitricity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I gotta ask: Did anyone pick the Water Starter? No. No. <laughs> okay. I actually okay, so I don't hate Sobble. Like I think he's kind of a cute little gecko yeah. thing. Yeah. Everything else um, sucks though. It is the worst final the worst. evolution. I was yeah, gonna say it was awful. the worst line in as a whole. It's out terrible. Of, I think in the it, entire it's series. So it, bad. It just it emaciated like, lizard. It yeah. looks like a cross of the pink panther and James Bond. Yeah, but what what I don't get is like everyone's like, oh Inteleon sucks. Of. And Inteleon does suck. But, like, I, I don't think it gets worse than the second evolution, which is just the stupidest looking thing ever. Look at it. It's so bad. <laughs> like, like it's Sobble's the worst. Stupid, but Sobble, whatever this, the middle one is, is even stupider. <laughs> uh, the last one's the stupid. I think it's like stupid. Drizz this something, Drizzle, or yeah. I don't know. Drizzazzle. So. Drizzazzle? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Driz, I mean, yeah, I guess Driz it kind of style. makes sense because it's definitely going for that punk thing that like other ones in this generation but have. But it does not it. nail it. It does no. not. And maybe that's the point. That, no, that might be the. Point. That's the problem, though. It doesn't it might make be the sense. Point. It might be the point, though, because he's like, it's he's in his teenage years and he's trying to figure out what he's going for. So he does this and it looks like shit. And then yeah, I mean, he looks then, like shit. That's then he sure. then he tries to pull himself together for Inteleon and it just it doesn't work. And then he joins Double <laughs> Seven. How does that yeah. even make sense? It's yeah, it doesn't like, make sense. Like like the punk ones like should be their own thing. If they really meant for him to be also into the punk thing, have the other evolutions tie into it. It doesn't yeah. work though. Yeah. I've heard some people say like, "Oh, it's it's him growing." <laughs> 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 this is every time I saw the final evolution of Sobble, this is what I thought. Of. <laughs> Pretty accurate. What is that? Yeah, what that's, is that? That's Dimitri from Sly <laughs> Cooper. Oh, okay. Oh, he's from Sly Cooper. Really? Yeah. Oh, I I I must have not played enough of that. Did you play Sly Cooper too? Yeah, yeah, I did. My cousin it was had like it the, He was the first big bad from Sly Cooper 2. Oh, in Paris. okay. Yeah, but... And um, then he also, has a, he also has a thing in Sly Cooper 3. But yeah. yeah so Sobble, I think it's supposed to be like, oh, he's Sobble not trash. confident, and he gets more confident. But Sobble's like... So trash. Doesn't work. Dumb concept. Fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, They. I think they really... They. I, I think... I think well this isn't I don't think this is the weakest gen of the starters, but it's it's definitely on the bottom. Yeah, I mean there's, I, there's a gen that has definitely worse starters in my opinion. I, I, I agree with that. What's the worst starter for you guys? Ever? Yeah. Of all of them? Probably this Ooh, one. This is good this is gonna be a big spoiler and so controversial. So I, I He's gonna Charizard. say Charizard. No, Blaziken. <laughs> I hate him. I love Blaziken. Fuck you. Oh, I don't hate Blaziken, but uh, I, I'm 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 with Ian. I don't. I mean, I just don't hate it, but I just I don't particularly like it either. Yeah. For me, I it's don't... it's Chikorita. Chikorita. Chikorita's Ooh. lame. Chikorita's lame. Chikorita. Oh my. God. I, I agree. Chikorita's lame. Aleph is lame. Meganium is lame. I agree that they're God. not they're not lame, but they are like they're lame. Other starters they're kind not of interesting. Uh, they look like they could be normal Pokemon. Yeah. Um, Popolio is stupid. Its whole line is stupid. I can't uh, I disagree. Popolio or I Sobble disagree. more. I disagree. Popolio is kind of cute. No, yeah, and Popolio it, it, is kind of cute, but like it gets stupid. No, I like Primarina, or is it Primarina is the last one? Primadonna? I don't know. Something I don't like know. That. It's a it's it's a big beautiful seal with like frills. I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. Got long hair and it's like an. Idol, I guess. I the model, yeah. I don't know. I, I like that. I think my least favorite might be Chespin, maybe. I don't really? know. Yeah, Chespin's yeah. trash. I, 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 I it's it's his whole evolution. He kind of looks like Bowser a, a little bit, and that's kind of cool. But I don't really, I don't know. He just kind of looks like. Forgot about. I, I'm shit. looking at the picture of all the starters, and I forgot Chespin was there somehow. Yeah, Chespin's just <laughs> forgettable. Like it's yeah. <laughs> Because they like, don't remember Greninja, Inteleon for being Greninja is fucking everywhere. We all know Greninja, you know. Um, and Finnegan is the one I used. I like Finnegan, but I and Chespin just sort of I, I, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. See, I'm, looking, not so I'm looking and I disagree. I think I think Chespin's final evolution is pretty oh. cool. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like Chespin's final form. Oh, that was the one yeah, I well, You're alone, so. I actually like its finals. Well, yeah, I, I like its final form, but I have to say, this does not look like the same evolutionary line. What the fuck happened here? Yeah, yeah, it yeah it's um yeah, I don't like chestnut or what is he supposed to be to be honest. Yeah, nothing. It, it looks he's like he's nothing. like a mix between he, he's, a, just a, he's what, just a tank. He's a turtle. I don't yeah. mind it, but it is kind of like what? Where did where did uh, it come from? It just yeah, yeah it just means nothing and it he looks like nothing. He's he's Yeah. Yeah, he's just not good. He's like a I, cross hybrid between like a like a mammal and a reptile. Yeah. 